simply want to grow themselves, their people and their business in the least amount of time. Happy Friday. It's Friday the 6th of March. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Lillian. Good morning, Mickey. Great to have you here and good morning to my now officially as of today 18 year old adult in the house. A big shout out to Kaya Ruby Jones, my beautiful first born baby daughter that as of today has turned 18. My gosh. So we've woken up to beautiful balloons and an altar and gifts and cards and mama's pancakes. Uh, thank you, Sean. I'll, I'll pass that on for sure. I hope you're having a beautiful Friday. What do we do on Rapid Fire Friday? Well, I just come on here live for free, just sharing some reflections of my one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, sessions from the week and just rapid fire some tips to give you access to living a life that you absolutely love. Now, during the week, I had a session with a client who was really sick at the beginning of the session. And uh, hi, Diane. <laughs> Great to have you here. And uh, they actually almost canceled because they were that sick. And as I was kind of tuning into them, I absolutely knew that the best thing for them to do was to have the session because we were going to heal some big stuff. Now, something that I don't share and haven't really shared on social media, but it just feels true to do it. I've shared it briefly a couple of times. So yeah, you're welcome, Diane. No problem. Is uh, that I've done a lot of work over the years with people healing physical stuff. Now, this session for people today is if you are someone that wants access to greater health and vitality, if you are currently navigating any physical stress, illness, disease, uh, sickness, or you just have this general feeling of being unwell, good morning Brooklyn, then I want you to tune into this because consider that your thoughts and beliefs, our thoughts and beliefs can definitely make us sick and can be completely debilitating. So. One of the things I haven't really shared is I'm clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, a medium, and a Reiki uh, healer. And I do shamanic healing. That's a mouthful. What does that mean? Well, we are all consider clairvoyant, clear seeing, clairaudient, clear hearing, clairsentient, clear feeling. You and I are intuitive spiritual beings who have access to being connected to the divine and even connected to other realms, even connected to relatives or beings that have passed on. I've spent many years having a practice where I would do intuitive readings, shamanic healings, healings and have people's relatives come, you know, through me to communicate to their loved ones. Again, not something I print on my business card necessarily, not something that I, I promote here uh, or on my website, but I share it because even though I've been doing this for over 25 years, I'm 47 now, I started young at 16, uh, it blows me away every time what's possible. So, ah, oh, beautiful, great. Now, um, I can't see who's here on Instagram yet, so uh, sorry on Facebook yet, but hello to you that are tuned in, it's still loading. Hey Shane, uh, Shannon, great to have you here. So if you are currently navigating physical stress in your body, difficulty sleeping, feeling sick, a niggling physical ailment, uh, thank you Sean, oh, he's already ahead of me. If you're watching this live or watching the record, type in live or record Fiona Knight. Good morning, great to have you here. If you've got any disease or chronic illness, then please tune in. If you're uh, driving, just tune in safely. And I just want to say I love you. Thank you for tuning in and I hope that you are well. I want to get stuck straight into it today because it's such a powerful conversation. So, short story. This week I had a session with a beautiful client who started the session and they were unwell and we were talking about shifting it to another time. And as I tuned into them, tuned in means just energetically, intuitively tuning into what's the truth, what's really going on for them. Uh, <laughs> I love you too, Sean. Uh, K for cat, beautiful to have you here. I knew that we needed to do some work today. Um, I love you too, Diane. We needed to do some work today, right? So. I gave them the choice. We can either go under the hood and dig deep and get to the source of what's making them so sick or we could postpone and thankfully they said no let's do the work. Now this particular person has uh, had major stomach issues, debilitating stomach issues for five years. So much so that they've had their gallbladder removed and they're still sick. And 
what we uncovered was this person has had three significant life situations happen, personal situations with key people, their key relationship, their father, uh, and another significant other, another family member. And there were situations that happened, and here's the juice about life. In life, consider there's what happens in life, and then there's what we make it mean. And here's what I know for sure. Everything that happens to us in life, we make it mean something. And we either make it mean something empowering or disempowering. Typically, though, when stuff happens to us as little kids, if we're picked on in primary school or high school, if you fall in love with someone and they dump you, if you... Uh, you know, put your hand up in class when the teacher asks the question and you get it wrong and all the kids laugh at you. Like, that's what happens. But typically what people make it mean is, oh, I'm not good enough. I'm not smart. I'm dumb. Don't do that again. Or don't put your whole heart out there. That's unsafe. Men suck. We can't trust women. Like, whatever it is. So when things happen to us, we actually... I'm just going to make sure we don't get interrupted on my phone because there's messages coming through. We actually make it mean a whole bunch of stuff. Now, this particular client had three significant things happen to them. And when I unpacked what their beliefs were, and their language is unbelievable. It's like, yeah, I hold everything with worry. Listen to the words, sick to my stomach with worry. Massive stomach issues, gallbladder removed, which is a critical, you know, piece of human machinery. It's a critical organ. and uh, still the same problems. Now, within a couple of minutes, we distilled all the thoughts, the negative thoughts and beliefs that this person was storing in their gut. Now, your gut is 85% of your immune system sits in your stomach, in your gut, in your whole in, in um, digestive system. 85% of our well-being, how well our body functions, how well our organs, g'day Dave, work, how glowing our skin is, how well our reproductive system, everything, 85% of our well-being sits in our gut. And this person was storing all of their negative beliefs, opinions, judgments, assessments in their gut. We looked at the energy of what was there and, and, this, and I had this person describe What's the color? What's the temperature? What's the texture? How old is it? This lifetime, past lifetimes, really got to see what is the energy of this mass, mass of shitty thoughts and beliefs that really weren't serving them. And we do this amazing visualization technique that I lead the people through to have it eliminated from the body. Lots of tears, lots of energetic shedding, lots of emotion. And lots of clarity and and what occurs as a result is there's this disassociated relationship with what's going on because they can see for the first time what they're creating within themselves is within themselves is this making sense let me know give me a thumbs up if this is making sense hey Kelly hey Eilish so uh, afterwards a huge relief lots and lots of tears thanks Kelly and uh, and then I said, okay, you need to really clear your day and you need to rest, take care of yourself. Now, during the process, this person's father, who also passed away five years ago, came through and started communicating to them. Actually was hugging them and kissing them on their temple like, like this, like my nanny used to do to me. And absolutely was adamant about giving my client yellow roses, big yellow roses. And I said, your homework today, you need to go and get yourself a bunch of big yellow roses. Hey, Hira. Uh, and, uh, and you know, there's lots of tears obviously connecting to her beloved father. And, and he had some stuff to say about her. He had some stuff to say about her sister and her mother. Uh, was you know and I I didn't know him so it was clear that it was him and a little while after the session I get a text just to check in at saying that straight after the session my particular client went and did a huge purge a massive vomit and they felt like it was just a huge release of all this energy now I share this because it's quite simple to do, yet it blows my mind how profound it is. 
the impact that you and I have on ourselves every single day based on the quality of our thoughts. Every single thought that we have about being fat, not being good enough, being broke, that will never amount to anything, that we're not successful. He's better than me. She's better than me. What am I doing? I'm invisible. I don't belong. I'm not worthy. I don't deserve it. Whatever. This happened. It's unfair. Like all of that. Be careful what you think and say for you are listening because your cells have ears, your cells are energy, your cells are receptors that just say yes to everything that you're saying. Everything. And if you want more information about this, go and check out Dr. David R. Hawkins' book, The Power vs. Force. It's not a light read. It's a full-on read. But what he's done in here is he's mapped out the levels of consciousness our personal evolution, how conscious and connected to the higher realms we are. These are all the higher levels. These are all the lower levels. The lowest level of consciousness and emotion that we can be in is shame and guilt. And this is where my client was sitting. Shock, guilt, shame, upset, resentment. That's all energy, my friends. And when you hang on to the crap of the past, it stores itself in your body. And if you're wondering, well, why my knees or why my lower back or why my eyes? There is a significant relationship between the parts of our body and what we're holding. And if you want to learn more about that, please check out the beautiful work of Dr. Louise Hayes, who's passed now a couple of years ago, but she wrote a book called You Can Heal Your Life. She healed her own stomach cancer that was the size of a melon, and she actually distilled all the different thoughts and beliefs that we have that affect different body parts. You can even Google it. Okay, Google Dr. Louise Hayes sore knees and it'll come up. What is the message of why your knees are sore and what is the affirmation or the belief, the useful belief that you can start using to significantly shift it? I remember a lady I used to work with had many gut and bowel issues. She this is a message from Natalie. She wasn't happy in her job. It was replace it was replacing her. I was replacing her and what I noticed was she kept saying pain in the ass. Well, I'm surprised she didn't have a sore ass. Uh, I feel that such on an extreme level, says Eilish. I borrowed this book the other day from the library. You just gave me goosebumps. <laughs> Kelly, yes, it is powerful. I promise you the quality of your thoughts and words are here. Like, I'll give you an example. Humiliation, blame, despair, regret, anxiety, craving, hate, negative emotions, right? And the, and the shame, guilt, apathy, grief, fear, all those things that you and I do, it just depends on how often these are the things that will weigh us down. These, will the th these are the things that turn our body into acidic bodies, not alkaline bodies, and cancer cannot exist in an alkaline body, just a tip. Uh, what we need to do is let go of this crap. Let go of the stuff that's happened in the past. It is not serving us. And when I asked my client this, the other day to tune in to the mass of the beliefs and really, really connect with it. Like what color is it? What texture is it? What temperature is it? How long has it been there? How big is it? This lifetime, like they could really see it. And I said, is this serving you? And they said, no. And I said, but what's the lesson? We all must always must tune in and find out what's the lesson. What is this here teaching us? And they said, the lesson is that I really need to put myself first and love myself because what this client does is she pours herself into everybody else. It makes her feel good and that's lovely but not at the cost and expense of her own self. And she absolutely knows what she needs to do and she hasn't been doing it. So her body is now telling her. So I invite you to take a look. If you have, and they ba she basically rested for 32 hours, felt like a truck had hit her, but huge clarity, huge relief, and the pain in her gut, and the tension in her stomach disappeared. Now, it's not me, it's not because I'm special, it's just because we brought deep consciousness to what was going on, we had a look at what was the source of the pain, because she said a gallbladder removed, and was, you know, doctors talking about more surgery, it, this is the best doctor surgery that we can have. Now, don't get me wrong, I need to be responsible with my communication. 
if you have medical conditions, you definitely want to get it checked out. You want to see you, uh, um, an appropriate specialist or GP, psychologist, psychiatrist, counsellor, therapist, whoever, for sure. Be responsible with your energy, but please never underestimate that you are the master of your mind and you are either programming the cells in your body to be empowered or disempowered, to be healthy or sick, to be vital or dying. Hey Jody, great to have you here. Good morning Christopher, awesome to have you here. Elish is saying yes. Are you with me? Are you hearing me? Are you getting it? Because this life that we have, and I say this a lot, is a gift. And we spend too much time abusing this temple that we've been gifted this time around, whether you're short, tall, freckled, tanned, olive skin, Puerto Rican, Sri Lankan, Maltese, Australian, Chinese, wide, thin, whatever. This is it this time round. And you know, I too can be really hard on myself. I too can give myself a lot of, you know, grief about tummy looks a bit floppy, legs are short, blah, 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 soccer player legs, whatever, right? I have bloody legs. I can think about getting up and getting a drink of water and I can go and get a drink of water. There are many that don't. And I think we take our bodies, I think we take our health, and I think, think we take ourselves and our lives for granted. So today's message is really about asking you the question, are your thoughts and beliefs making you sick? If you have physical illness, ailment, disease, suffering, tension or stress, obviously get yourself checked out. I recommend naturopaths. I recommend my girlfriend Louise Shillings here in Melbourne, Fulwent, Melbourne, Australia, if you can. Thanks to everyone that reached out to me this week too to go and book in a session and see her. But I really recommend that be, you be your own witch doctor and it starts by getting clear about which thoughts you're thinking and interrupt the pattern of the shitty thoughts about yourselves physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. Does this make sense? And if it does, what are you hearing for yourselves? And if you're watching this now, please type in live or you're watching the record, type in record. One of my goals is to empower people to live a very healthy and vital and joyful life because who knows how long we have here. So I invite yourself to educate yourself. Now if you want to learn more about maybe how I can help you get clear about what is the source of your sickness, what is the source of your pain and suffering and ailments no matter where it is. Let's go under the hood of your subconscious mind and get clarity around the thoughts and beliefs you're programming your cells to believe and let's support you with some healing and let's get you on the right track. Uh, gut bowel problems, by the way, gut uh, and bowel, because I have had those issues as well. As I said, 85% of our reproduct uh, reproductive system, 85% of our immune system exists in our gut and our digestive system, right? So it's a big, important part of the body. That's why if you have been sick and you have taken antibiotics or you drink a lot of alcohol or something like that, you need to make sure you're taking a really good probiotic to replace the good gut flora that antibiotics eliminate when they're killing off the bad guys. Okay, so that's really critical. I've got Kaya on some really good gut flora right now because she was having copious amount of drugs to eliminate her sickness that she got in Thailand. So you've got to create a healthy gut physically, right, with the foods that you eat and, and supplements and nutrients and minerals. But please don't underestimate the power of this. Now our gut as an energy center represents our intray of life, the stuff that we have to deal with. So if you imagine your intray on your desk, our gut is the intray of life. It, it houses the stuff we have to do. And so one way to elevate your health and well-being is to get stuff done to complete the things that are incomplete and just focus on even if it's one thing a day that's really holding you on. Uh, last call of the day, hi last call of the day, actually get stuff done so your gut can relax because it feels overwhelmed. The other thing about your gut is from a chakra which is a, a Sanskrit word for energy in India called chakra, energy wheel energy center, your gut is your yellow chakra, which is your sense of self, personal, um, uh, 
self-esteem, self-worth, personal power. It's like the lion. It's yellow. It's it's your power. If And you see people, if they're in conversation with people and they're not comfortable and they do this, they're often protecting their gut, their center of power. So look after yourself physically. Take care of your thoughts mentally. Reprogram your beliefs and start programming your physical cells to think good thoughts. Check out the map of consciousness in this book, Power Versus Force. If you do have physical ailments, Google Dr. Louise Hayes and uh, check out all the work that she's done to identify the thought cause and the affirmation to transform what's happening. Reach out to me, send me a DM. Many of you have going, oh my God, I watched your little story about your client and, and what shifted. And as I said, I've been doing this for years and I never, ever take it for granted. So, you know, I've even, yeah, I've even had women who haven't had their menstrual cycle for seven to eight years. One session, three days later, they're ringing me going, I've just started my period. I've just started bleeding. I know it's uh, graphic and detailed, but hey, so is life. So uh, I just love you and I want you to live a healthy, vital, vibrant life. So take care of your body, fill it with good things, fill it with fuel, not filler. Go and get it checked out by a naturopath or a GP or whoever you see, but up here is where the greatest medicine is at and you're either elevating yourself or you're deflating yourself. If I can be of service in any way, if you want to have a confidential conversation with me about something that you're going through and uh, you want to see if you can shift it, I have a very good success rate. And it would be my honor to support you in the transformation of your physical well-being. So uh, I hope you got some value out of that. And thanks to all of you who have already reached out to me. And if you are watching this and you want to reach out, then you can via DM on Instagram, comments in Facebook, or DM me on Facebook as well. Or, of course, you can email me, Tanja, T-A-N-J-A, at tmjcoaching.com.au. I'm going to leave it there because it's my daughter's 18th birthday. And uh, I'm going to go continue to celebrate her. Holy moly, whew, where did that time go? But um, please tune into your body today. Ask your body what it needs. Thank you, Kelly. I really hope that you look after yourself. I'll be very keen to hear what you get for yourself. And Kelly, just think about uh, it was incredible as always. Thank you, Sean. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Kelly. I'll pass on the, the birthday wishes. Uh, please don't suffer in silence and please don't suffer alone. You know, we we do better work when we support each other and we help each other out. The curvy, the healthier, curvier gal joined. We're just wrapping up, my love, so feel free to watch the record. Uh, I love you. Thanks for sharing your precious time and energy with me. Please remember that I'm here for you. So if you are stuck in any area of your personal or professional life, or you're oscillating, taking two steps forward and two steps back, and you need a hand to have a breakthrough, or you're sick and tired, listen to the words, sick and tired of something that's going on that you have no access to transform, that's what I'm here for, okay? Send me a question, send me anything that I can help you with, and I'll see you here live for Mindset Mastery Monday on Labor Day, being a long weekend here in Australia, and, um, and let's shift some stuff so you can go and live a life that you love. And as always, according to the late, great Maya Angelou, please remember, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Be selfish today, not self-absorbed, but selfish today and focus on feeling good about yourself by taking care of yourself and it begins with the programming you're sending yourself with every thought and every belief because you and I have 60 to 90,000 thoughts a day. 90% of the same regurgitated thoughts as the day before and 85% of them are negative. We are sending all of that to different parts of our body that are struggling to deal with that energy. It's our greatest responsibility to send it love and compassion and kindness and light and joy and kiss ourselves to life. Uh, enjoy your long weekend and your gorgeous birthday, girl. Thank you, Diane. Much love. Um, book. Last call of the day. Book. Ooh. So that's the book.
Power versus Force, Dr. David R. Hawkins, Max, maps out the levels of consciousness. Phenomenal read. Check out Dr. Louise Hayes. Much love to you. Have a beautiful weekend. For those in real estate, happy show day tomorrow. Go be great with people. Just great. Talk from the heart. That makes a difference. And please join me at a.m. Eastern Standard Time uh, for Mindset Mastery Monday. I'm going to do an open mic Monday. That means I'm just going to come here. No agenda, no topic, no nothing, just me and you. And let's solve as many problems as we can live. I'll answer as many questions as possible. And if you have friends that are stuck and you want them to get a raft for success, Get them online. Get them on board. I ask for nothing other than your attention. Okay, I love you. Go well. Be great. Take care. See ya.